Hola. Okay, today was freaking weird. Um, let me try to go over the highlights. So, first of all, I woke up, I wasn't feeling that well because my family back home was obviously, you know, freaking out a lot about the Black Lives Matter movement and really it's George Floyd's murder. Um, but yeah, so that was obviously like a really stressful thing and it's a big deal to me. But um, anyway, so, you know, we had a pretty serious conversation yesterday about everything that was going on. And, you know, I just try to, like, talk to my mom and just, like, my brother and see what's going on at home. So when I went to sleep, I was just kind of mentally exhausted, honestly. And I didn't want to get up in the morning. Um, my friends wanted me to do them a couple favors, like... And I just was like, I just had this thought. I was like, I should really stay inside today. Like, I was like, this is like one of those days where like something crazy happens in the world. I should just stay inside. Um, like, kind of like when like COVID-19 happened. Like, it's almost like, you know how there's like a moment of silence? So like, I thought today was one of those and... They should have been one of those. Um, but, like, I'll make this video on a lighter note because obviously there's serious stuff going on. Like, I don't really know how I'm... I don't really know how I feel about everything. Maybe I'll make a video on that. But, so after dealing with some serious stuff, I woke... I kind of didn't want to wake up and, like, get my day started. One of my best friends, she texted me and asked if I want to go to the mall. I kind of wasn't feeling like going to the mall. I just wanted to stay inside um, but I did want to make a vegan dinner of vegan tacos. So I needed, like, two more things. I needed cilantro and some guacamole salsa that I wanted to put. So the only thing I wanted to do is go see if they had a fan and those ingredients. And then I was just supposed to stay inside. What ended up happening, I ran into one of my friends. He had the bright idea for us to go to this steak place. Um, so I'd already told my friend I didn't feel like going to the mall. I wanted to be lazy. Um, so my friend's like, oh, let's go to the steak place. I skipped over one part. So <laughs> although I didn't want to leave, I did want to at least um, talk to someone and hang out. So when I woke up at like, one o'clock in the afternoon like I woke up at seven and then I was like oh this is way too early I need to sleep in because during the week I have to wake up like that time so I was like oh no I have to sleep in so I sleep in I wake up at like 10 and I'm like I could sleep a little bit more I go to sleep and I wake up at 12 and then that's when I'm like okay I need to figure out how to get out of bed so I think it's like 12 there's this guy there's this guy I have a crush on, and he's already confessed to me, but it wasn't a, whatever. Anyways, me and this guy were friends, and now we just hook up, and so <laughs> we literally hooked up today, like literally today at like 12 or 1 p.m. So flash forward to dinner because I'm all over the place with this story because this is just like stream of consciousness. So <laughs> we go to this. So the reason I didn't want to go to the steak place is because I've actually been doing pretty well cutting out um, meat. Like just straight up like meat. Um, I slip up like at least like I've slipped up at least once a day, however, I made it one whole day being vegetarian. And then I made it, like, another day being, like, pescatarian. So, like, uh, now, honestly, 
today is the first time I realized that now when I eat meat, my stomach hurts um, because I keep changing my diet too drastically. So I'm trying to just like give up meat. I'm really trying to give up meat um, to help with my chronic pain. Anyways, let, let me get to the good stuff. Let me, let me stop. Let me get to the good stuff. So my friends want to eat at the steak place. My friend ends up canceling. It's supposed to be four of us. And then I, uh, yeah, so then I start literally cutting onions. Like, my room smells like onions because I started cutting onions. And my friend texts, he's like, actually, let's still go to the steak place because his date canceled on him. I was like, bitch. Like, so we got really mad. Um, whatever. We ended up going, like, <laughs> for some reason, I didn't want to go. Like, I really didn't but you know I really should just get out there and like talk to my friends because I was trying to avoid all my friends at once and we go to the steak place it's actually like pretty nice but like my energy is kind of low like it's from like everything I did before and like talking to my family and everything so um basically like we're eating i'm kind of arguing with my friends i'm actually getting called out for being fake a little bit and like not hanging out with my friends the correct way and i'm getting like exposed and i'm getting mad at my friend um it's not the worst but the vibes were just like up and down like we were just like arguing over petty stuff but it wasn't like serious arguments but it was still like even i was like airing my grievances with my friend like i've been annoyed because he hasn't been like talking to me that much at one point they pull out this plastic wall for this lady. Like, I guess she's older and she mm -hmm. wants a big wall, like, a big plastic divider next to her, which is, like, fine. Because this is the first time I'm sitting down since the COVID-19 stuff started. And then, like, we see them pull out this plastic and that's when I noticed that the guy that I literally, like, hooked up with, like, that day is, like on a date like with this other girl um <sighs> okay so that that's part one so then i'm just feeling like so awkward but like we pretty much finished our food after that point and my friends were chill uh, like i said i got called out a little bit so i was feeling like a little bit of anxiety and then i was just like oh god like i can't even like look over and then <laughs> I go, also, like, that guy was a fucking asshole, too, and the last message I sent him before I seen him at this restaurant was, like, you're an asshole, because, like, we don't really talk anymore, like, we're not, we're not friends anymore, which is, like, exactly what I knew would happen, like, if we, like, confessed, and then, like, whatever, anyways, so, I felt so awkward, and none of my friends, or anyone really like if anyone knows they don't care or they don't bring it up but like my friends <laughs> they put me on blast for everything so they would definitely say something um but yeah so that was really fucking awkward and I don't want to do it again like I think I'm literally gonna try to be single until I like finish this job or somehow go back home so um yeah so that was the first part and then after my friends really wanted to go to this party at someone's house i'm trying not to drink until i finish this class i'm taking that's just like a personal like goal and also like it's against the rules technically but you know no one's really like watching what you do on the weekend so um i'm not taking any chances basically so you know, I'm not really trying to go party, I'm just trying to stay in my room, and stay in my lane, and they like, well, there's this, like, cookout, like, I call it barbecue, but they're like, there's this cookout, um, you guys wanna go? So me and my friend are, like, kinda contemplating going, but, like, I didn't have any makeup on, I have just, my hair is, like, okay, like, it grew a little bit, but, like this is not glam for me I at least would put a little makeup on and do my eyebrows and maybe some earrings and like comb my hair a little bit more so uh whatever 
so they tried to invite us we pulled so my friend was like okay here we'll be nice and since she was driving she was like i'll drop you guys off at the party um and be like your dd and so she does and she um after we come back from the restaurant because we're in two separate cars after we come back from the restaurant um hold on <laughs> get my thoughts together after we come back from the restaurant she's like oh i'll pick you guys up in my car and then um drop you guys off at the party so that yeah so then we go pick them up and my friend was playing music and she opens up like the sunroof and i'm like okay cool and then i never open up my sunroof so i forget that it's a whole window i guess i like forgot it was a whole window so anyways we go pick up my uh friends and then she's like driving to drop them off and as soon as she pulls up to the place to drop them off i just yell like for some reason i decided to yell but i cannot just quietly say it i was like i see the married man that was like hitting on me and i was like that's the married man hitting on me and then my friend just goes shh and it's because the whole fucking sunroof was open. So it's like, um... Yeah, and I forgot to mention, like, earlier this week, he texted me and was like, Oh, my divorce papers are final. Like, are you going to try to talk to me? Or did you just not want to talk to me? And I never responded. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty horrible. And then just to, like... I don't know just to end the night weirdly um I went to go to the dorms next door and I went to freaking uh how do I say this I went to sign in to visit some friends with my friend and it was her friend so I never go there but like the guy who's like checking people in he was like, oh, he didn't ask for my friend's ID because I guess he knew her. But then he asked for my ID, but not so like, not to like to write my name. He only asked for my ID because, um, he only asked for my ID because he's like, I'm trying to make sure everyone who comes in this building is over 18. And I'm just like, so I look at my friend and I'm like, oh. And then he looks at the back of my ID. He's like, oh, never mind. You're good. So I'm like, thanks, I needed to be insulted today, like, just, like, just, like, to top everything off, like, please insult me, like, please. So, yeah, that's, um, some fresh drama with, like, me, like, just, like, no makeup, no nothing, like, and it really taught me that I need to stop leaving my room, like, that's, um, the moral of the story, is, like, I'm really out here just getting continually embarrassed um but it's it's my fault like i know that um but it's just when am i not gonna be in an awkward situation like i'm gonna just stay in my booty in my room from now on so yeah i just had to share that and i don't know if my friends know everything but i'm gonna tell like my one best friend who like doesn't judge anything i do and then that's it. I got myself in such a horrible mess. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, I'm supposed to get breakfast with my friends, too. We'll see how that goes. Bye.